All right, out here this morning doing a little hike. We're about probably three and a half miles into the trail and we're turning around and heading back. Uh, can't do the whole trail. I think it's about seven miles or so, but uh, we decided we'd do about half the trail. And uh, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see over there, uh, Savoy's River over there. Um, I just want to make a little point here as we're hiking um, and that is uh, for those of you who don't know uh, I don't have a smartphone or a cell phone or anything else and I can show you on uh, Google Earth where we're at I'll show that here so you can see that uh, we are definitely not close to town or some kind of a thing like that you know, we are out here, and there's a lot of rocks on the trail and roots sticking up and everything else. And dangerous wild animals. Not really. Uh, had a neighbor tell me that he saw a mountain lion. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, I question it, but maybe he did. I don't know. But uh, this this thing of I hear people say, Oh, I have to have a cell phone. I need to have a cell phone. Well, you know, what if something would go wrong? Well, what did people do in the past? You know, it's just so insane how now we can't live the way people lived for thousands of years. We just, we don't know what to do. And then people complain because of uh, green passes and whatever else. It doesn't make a bit of sense to me. I've never had a smartphone and their desire to have a smartphone. This is weird. People are odd. Can't really understand it, but whatever. Um, I can't imagine coming out here and getting a call. You know, the only call I like to get out here is uh, the call of nature. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, not that I like to get it, but it's. One that I accept when it comes, when it happens. How did I get off on that subject? <laughs> but uh, people need to stop becoming, you know, being slaves to technology. Technology has a place. You can use it, fine, whatever. But when it becomes a slave, uh, or, or excuse me, when you become its slave, then that's a problem. The Bible talks about um, not being brought under the power of anything. Um, all things are lawful unto me, but are all, all things are not expedient. You know, and you say, well, Brother Brian, I have to have a cell phone. I'm, uh, it's, it's required at my job. I don't have a choice. Well, uh, maybe you want to get a different job or work for yourself so that you can be your own boss. A little swampy area there. That's all right. So, just going to do a little bit of ranting here this morning um, as I walk along, as we walk along. Can't go too slow here. They're getting out ahead of me. Come on, Luther. Hey! Look! Oliver! Wave! Oh boy. Go ahead. Oh boy. Shaking the bridge. Thanks, so, 
these. Now they're taking off again. Hey! There they go running. Leaving the old man behind. <laughs> sort of a cedar swamp we're walking through here. If you're from northern Maine, you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> All right. <laughs> All right. Oh, there they go running again. <laughs> Let me see if I can run a little bit here. There comes Luther. Hope I'm not making people too sick. A little hard to run and hold a camera steady. Not running full tilt either. All right. <sighs> Apparently we're going to run again. <sighs> nice rocky trail here. And this is a bit of a side note. Let me show my shoe here. These are called minimalist shoes. They have no heel. They have a nice wide toe area there. And uh, let me flip this thing around here. Huh. Excuse me. I highly recommend minimalist shoes. I used to practically live in my logging boots and um, had the big heel on the back and just absolutely destroyed my lower back and uh, had a lot of pain as a result of that and found minimal, minimalist shoes mm, probably, oh boy, what six seven years ago something like that and that's pretty much all I wear now and that's what the two up in front of me here wear as well uh, make sure that we don't have heels on our shoes and um, a lot better balance and things when you're out hiking on really rocky soil and big roots sticking up out and everything else so check into that if you have lower back pain it's probably the result of if you have heels that you wear because it basically throws your body forward and you compensate by you know kind of going back moving back on your you know upper body moves backward puts a lot of pressure on your lower back so uh, I've had I had trouble for many years with my lower back, still do, but uh, it's gotten a whole lot better since I moved to the thing of minimalist footwear. Man. So. Kind of look around, see the nice scenery here. It's a real pretty area. Most of northern Maine is a very pretty area. Not much into the the big potato fields of Aroostook County. Uh, I mean, I guess they have their own beauty or whatever. But I like the forest. I was raised in the woods. Had access to a couple hundred acres of land, of woodland behind my parents' house. 
we had we lived in the woods and uh I could go back into the woods and explore and I lived almost lived in the woods so but uh I just I love to be natural I love to experience things the way that my ancestors would have experienced them coming out here no cell phone you know very much natural footwear without big heels and whatever else on them to screw up my lower back all right run across Luther Luther's afraid to go across the bridge I have to carry him let me show you Luther going across the bridge boy Come on, boy. He doesn't want to go. See if he'll go. Go on, boy. Go on. There you go. Good boy. <laughs> Not real sure of himself. <laughs> you like the bridge? Yeah. Really pretty. And I'll keep shaking the bridge. I'm trying to get some steady shots here. All right. Uh, whoa. Shaky bridge. Hard to walk across it and film. All right. Watch out, Luther. Come on up, boy. There you go. Hello. Hello. Go! Hold on. And go! Go! Yes! yes. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Nothing. Nothing? You mean you're doing this before we had breakfast? Oh no, just terrible intermittent fasting here. Oh, isn't that awful? No beverage either. No beverage either. But our cell phones are always handy so that we can call if we need help, right? Right, and get hacked by scammers from India too. No, that's not true. Everybody that has an iPhone knows how to work them no matter what. Right, except the fact that they're setting themselves up for being hacked. But Never. we just won't talk about that. Never. Terrible. You're too militant and stuff. What? Terrible. I'm innocent. Where How can I like be militant? I'm a college dropout for crying out loud. Yeah, where do you like to go? I didn't cry out loud. Alright, we need to get going. Yeah. And go. He said he wants to go up the mountain. Can he do it? Ah, he's getting behind the trees. I can't see him. Hey, good job.